like motorcycle radio. Um, I'm not sure about his question of music, questionable, but he rocked it. He believed in it. I can still hear it like a block away. And I'm leafing through it, and I think this guy looked vaguely familiar. And uh, lo and behold, who's this dude? Huh? Greg Zart makes it into the drill, yo. And I think uh, they're calling me like a Faces of the Boom guy. There it is. Um, and I'm just going to have you know, the drill is essentially the Wall Street Journal of Williston, okay? Okay, if there was ever any doubt that I was in the heartland of America, think again. Look what's behind me here. It's hay bales and cornfields, all right? This is the kind of stuff that grew America. I mean, with, with wheat and hay and barley and corn, and I'm just thinking of like song lyrics right now, but this is the stuff. This is the heartland of America. This is where it happens, man. I'm feeling, I feel like I'm tapped in to some essential part of our, uh, you know, of, of North America right now. Um, and I feel right at home. I should have been born a farmer. Can you see me? Whew, I could probably lift this right now. Check this out. Okay, yeah, behind me and, and my awesome new shirt, by the way. Hey, I gotta give a shout out to Affliction line, clothing line. Man, you should have called it addiction, all right? Because I am, thanks a lot. But anyways, look at this. Corn, and I'm not talking about bah, 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 with the dreadlocks. This is, this is the real deal. Little baby corn, it's gonna grow up and be big corn. Gonna feed the planet, growing right here in North Dakota. The heartland of America. It's not just oil. We got agriculture out here. There's farming going on. When the oil goes away, you know what's gonna be left? This stuff right here. Okay, I'm sure you all remember my show with the with the deer on my on my way out here. Um, well, yay! You know, we might as well add to the legacy. Look what I found—a goose. And it's not often you find a roadkill goose. This is unique. Um, but no, I mean it's definitely a legit roadkill goose. I don't quite understand it, but as you can see, there's actually. There's actually cars going by, so uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't quite understand it, um, why a goose, maybe it was trying to cross the road, hit a truck or something. That's probably exactly what happened. Okay, Sherlock Holmes coming at you live and direct with uh, the goose and the gander. Sometimes your goose gets cooked. Sorry, buddy. Okay, I'm in the little town of, I'm not sure, North Dakota, and uh, it's gotten so bad here, the army's been called in to keep the peace. The reinforcements have arrived. You can stand down, stand down. Well, the Northern Plains is a grassland and a bad land. So it's a bad grassland.
These are cool. <laughs> what are they made of? Aluminum. Aluminum. Very cool. So if you want some pink salamanders or some some pink flamingos or whatever, outside, painted up, cast iron, aluminum, hand decorated, this is the spot. You come to the Prairie Hill Valley Mall, I think is the name, and uh, you too can have a garden now. So DK's is trying a new little thing out. Um, they, they work a little comedy into the nightclub scene out here. So it's not just, you know, dancing and DJs and all that kind of stuff. There's comedy here and there's some good comedians and some great comics. So you gotta come check it out and check out the night scene here uh, at DK's. You know, there's a, a variety of activities here. Seriously, every famous comedian you can think of that's on the road today that's over 40 years old, uh, he is, uh, has opened for uh, Chris. And uh, you guys are going to see why in just, uh, just a moment here. Please welcome uh, my very good friend and very funny man, Chris Fonseca. Watch the rule disappear. 